I'm joined by Teodora Ignatza, who just delivered one of the main upsets, main surprise of the tournament by eliminating the actual current woman World Cup winner, Alexandra Kastiniuk. Teodora, you must be super happy after the result today. Give me your feelings and sensations at this moment. Yeah, I mean, I'm too excited, so I might have some troubles to speak. Uh, but uh, yeah, the match was uh, wild uh, in classical portion. I have to say that I was uh, a bit worse, like in both of the games. So uh, I was not really feeling well uh, going into tie breaks. Also, this is my first ever tie break in my life. So uh, I was super stressed and uh, yeah, I prepared a bit, uh, rested, and uh, as I said, I mean, I worked pretty well uh, recently and in general before this tournament, so um, I know it looks like surprise, but I really had, uh, like, belief in myself that I can I can make it, and uh, yeah, games were pretty fine, I think, from, from actually, uh, from my side, I think both of the games I played pretty, pretty well, and uh, only the first game, uh, I think I, I got a little bit lucky because uh, basically whole the game, whole game I played uh, on like 30 seconds and she had maybe 10 minutes so that was really difficult to hold and luckily she blundered so after that game it was really difficult to to recover for her but uh, yeah I'm, I'm really happy. <laughs> Kostyniuk is one of the best players in the world she's played very well in the Grand Prix she's the winner of the Sochi uh, World Cup I'm not going to ask you if you expected to defeat her but did you expect to have more chances in the rapid if you if you could get through the classical games? Uh, no, actually, I thought that uh, if I wanted to like win somehow, uh, I had to do it in classical because uh, I consider myself to be like uh, like best in classical chess. Uh, honestly, rapid and blitz, I played. Uh, uh, I, I don't play much uh, in our country. We don't have many opportunities to play. So, uh, and she has also played so many events uh, on on top level. Yes, and uh, when I let's say prepare for her, it's <laughs> I really get in depression because she really plays every strong tournament in rapid blitz. So I thought like I have to do something in classical. And then when it was one one, I was like, okay, it's uh, final. So I had to take some advantage of uh, her feeling probably under some pressure. Expectations are on her side. So all these things I think uh, helped and. Uh, yeah. Do so you think as an underdog in the match on the paper that may have actually helped you? Uh, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it helps uh, uh, a lot. I mean, pressure yeah. to get away, to take a pressure away. Of course, of course. Uh, also, I have quite a lot of support at my home. Uh, my parents are supporting and it really helps when I know that uh, generally people that I care watch my games. So, yeah, all of that helped. Yeah. So now you're into the fourth round. A huge pay jump, that's also very important for everyone. But now you face Shuvalova, uh, a young player, very strong as well. Have you played her before? Uh, uh, have you thought about the matchup even during the match with uh, Kostinyuk? Uh, okay, I, <laughs> I didn't think about it at all. Uh, I mean, of course, I checked uh, briefly that she she won her game against uh, Crush, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm familiar with her because we are, uh, if not the same age, I think maybe one year difference. So we played a couple of times in youth competitions, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I can recall more than one game but it was uh the ones the ones that we played it was a draw but it was maybe five six years ago so uh she improved i hopefully improved so uh yeah it will be it will be fun yeah. good luck and see you in the next round yeah, thank you very much thank you